Coast. Lane Wilson up next on the parallel bars. He's had an outstanding day, and I'm sure that he has put the 9-1 vault behind him. You just have to if you're going to compete at a high level in this sport. Yeah, especially with a routine like Blaine has. Very, very difficult. A lot of different elements. The United States is cruising. And Blaine deserves an awful lot of credit. He set the tone for this American team right off the bat. His first two performances... Elements in combination right here. This is the trickiest part of his routine. Giant Diamondoff to that giant double back skill right here. No problem. This is par for the course for Blaine Wilson. Whoa. Now that was uncharacteristic. Very, very uncharacteristic. Oh. Right. And that, wow. That's stunning. <laughs> yeah. But well, that was amazing that he stayed on his feet at the end right there. I mean, he should have sat that down, but he is such a fighter. I wonder if skipping the high bar sort of allowed him to lose a concentration thing, or I don't know what. I just haven't seen him do it like that. Well, it's a long time to wait in between routines, no question about that, but... You know, sometimes things just happen, Al, and I, I think that one just happened. Just doesn't get his toes up a little bit here. Has to break form like that, but this is remarkable that he stays on his feet right there. Last time I saw him do that was in the prelims at the American Cup and he actually sat down. Wayne gets a 9.250. Well, he definitely had some mistakes in that exercise. He's capable of scoring in the 9-7 range, so. United States has plenty of room to play with. Zhao Yongfeng of the uh, Chinese team. Yeah, this this routine, the, the dismount will be the big question mark for him. Because he's been bothered by that, that ankle that he's been wrapping and trying to keep cold. But we'll see where he gains his big bonus points. First on this release right here, done very well. But he'll get even more. He'll do this dislocate and do what we call a dorsal grip or an L grip. And now he'll do three stalters in a row. Watch right here. Little bit of a touch on the bar right there. That's going to cost him, but the, that brings him huge bonus tents. No, no problem at all on that landing. He is a tough cookie, no question about it. As he jogs off the podium. We said this is not China's top team, but no question about it, this guy can compete with anybody, has the gymnastics tools. Well, what it's all about for China and Romania right now is finishing strong, and that's a step in that direction. 9.30 for Xiao Zhongfeng. The uh, Vasil Shawana of the uh, Romanian team on the vault. What's he got playing? Well, you know, this may not look to most folks as one of those difficult vaults that not the handspring double front that we saw from Blaine Wilson. This is so hard, though. He's going to leave the horse, do that Sukahara vault with two and a half twists. It's out of a ten. Very difficult. Not to mention the blind landing. It, it's just incredible. If you had, If you had said five years ago that someone would be able to run down the vault and do a laid out Sukahara with two and a half twists, they would have said, no way, it just, it, it doesn't happen. And he makes it look so easy, so it's kind of, he's going to fool some people, but that, that is really, really tough stuff. And tough stuff leads to one good mental souvenir of this trip to the United States, 9.75 for Vasil Shawana. So we come down to the final gymnast, and as long as he doesn't run to the airport before mounting, 
the parallel bars, Jason Gatson will close this out for the United States. And I really love this style of gymnastics on parallel bars. A lot of variety, does a skill that he basically invented later on in the exercise. Here's his release type element. This is just non-stop right here. Oh, oh. Boy. That, he does a very difficult element called the Makuts, named after a Soviet Give gymnast. Me come on. Come on, Jason, finish up, man. Body was just off balance, a little bit over too far. Nothing he could do in that case. Come on, Jason. Give me. You know how to do the rail, Jason. Let's go. Finish up. Probably not quite sure where he should pick this up because all of the elements. Yeah, he's repeating the element right there. Watch this here. Hop nice. full back into the middle. It just keeps going. Tim, explain the decision of repeating the element, not repeating the element. Well, because everything is tied together, he gets bonus points for not just doing the skill, but also connecting both before it and after it. So it was definitely beneficial for him to do it again. Not happy. He doesn't want to know anything about any second chance. This was great right here. Double back somersault. And like I said, everything comes one after another right here. This connects to the skill he had a problem with right here, just a little bit past the handstand. And on this element, there is no way we still you can recover when you do that. That's okay, it's early in the year. We're much farther ahead now than we were, say, 95 in that era. So you guys have a lot to feel good about, but we got a lot to learn at the same time, right? So you got to build off the good parts from this event and be psyched about it. If you miss something, it's okay to be pissed. Work it out. Better next time, right? You guys did a good job today. You get a lot of fighting. You helped each other out through the whole meet. So, you know, take a positive attitude out with it, you know, and go learn from it. That's all. Well, their coaches are happy about how they performed today. The United States beating China by just under five points. And likewise for Romania. Here's Beth Ruyak. Guys, it's the end of a really remarkable team meet. I know in both your heads, you're still hanging on P-bars a little bit. But in terms of a team and the leadership and spirit you needed to have here, what do you think? We uh, we were fighting the whole way through. I had a couple of mistakes, a few people making mistakes. But the thing was, stop the bleeding. Somebody messes up. Got to come back and hit strong. And that's what we did tonight. What's the leadership role like for you in this team? Well, you know, I'm taking on a new role along with, you know, Jason here. And uh, it's good to be in a leadership role because you, you get in there and you can talk to the guys. You know, if somebody's hanging their head, you get in there and you talk to them. You know, I'm hanging my head. People are talking to me at the end. So, you know, it's not just it's not just me that's, you know, that's bringing the guys up. It's every, every single one of us. So, Congratulations to both of you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Well, the World Championships just a few months away. The Olympics next year. The team needs depth. Noteworthy then was the consistency today of Chris Young. Chris Young hasn't stopped smiling at all. What a meet for you. Yeah, it was great today. Uh, it was real fun. Um, first time being big international meet in America, you know, on TV. So. And your best performance in it. What did you come in thinking or expecting tonight? I came in thinking just, you know, be consistent, you know, um, do what I can do and just stay and have fun. Congratulations, Chris. Thank you. So the United States men defend their title at the 19th.